New this morning, the number of new daily COVID-19 cases has fallen from an average high of just under 1500 in mid-December to just under 600 now in late January. Along with that, the number of people hospitalized with COVID-related illness has dropped substantially. Let's compare. According to the state, December 1st saw the highest number of people hospitalized at 496. Compare that to January 25th, 241 were in the hospital being treated for COVID. On December 1st, 105 people were in the intensive care unit and on January 25th, only 64 were in the ICU. During the taping of this week's viewpoint, St. Luke's chief medical officer, Dr. Jim Souza, told me the falling number of cases and hospitalizations is really encouraging, but. What that means though, again, is not that we're done. It means that we're getting ahead and we're, we're starting to win. Now's not the time to let up the pressure. Um, we, Get, getting this tiger back in the cage is going to take a lot of energy. And right when we're starting to be successful is not the time to ease up. So I, I guess what does the falling number of hospitalizations mean for, for St. Luke's? Uh, it's meant uh, that we have more capacity to provide um, other care. I want to emphasize that. that. That's been the focus from the beginning is preserving our healthcare system's capacity for care. And when things were truly out of control at the beginning of December, um, uh, we and other providers had to scale back on other services that we need to provide to um, people and patients. Uh, so since uh, we've seen the numbers fall, we're able to uh, start bringing back online some of that um, elective work. Um, uh, surgeries that need to be done, diagnostic tests that needed to be scheduled. So it's been a, a breath of fresh air. Um, we need to keep the trend going. Dr. Souza, has it been enough of a drop to you know take the overwhelming strain off of your staff? Are they feeling better? Uh, I, I'm going to answer that question uh, like like this. Um, uh, they're still really, really busy. <laughs> you know, we're working through backlogs, right, of, of work. Um, uh, the, the COVID strain is, is not as high. I will say that our patients that are in the hospital are still very sick. Um, they're still um, a heavy burden of care. It's just the burden it isn't um, quite as high because the, the numbers have fallen. Governor Brad Little says the state is now receiving 24,000 vaccine doses per week. Dr. Souza also said St. Luke's could be giving a lot more vaccinations if the state were getting a bigger supply. St. Luke's put on this vaccination clinic on January 23rd, last Saturday in the Treasure Valley. Nearly 1,600 people received a dose of the vaccine here, plus 400 more at another clinic in town. He says they are planning to have more vaccination clinics, but nothing is firmly scheduled. People 65 and older are eligible to start getting their shots on Monday. Dr. Souza also gives his viewpoint on what needs to improve with the vaccine rollout and on the politics of the pandemic on Viewpoint Sunday morning at 630 here on KTVB.